So everybody was making eggs, egg patterns with like McFly foam and veil, egg veil. I didn't have either. Um, so I did some research. <coughs> I found out another way to do it. So do the old one of them. Just a small cup of bead. Put it on backwards instead of the normal way. Uh, yeah. Bit of orange red. It doesn't have to be a copper bead, it could be a gold bead or orange bead, I don't think it matters. So you leave a bit of cap here if you want to put some white veil stuff on. And I'm just going to build it up. Doesn't have to be pretty. Because it's all going to be hidden. All we're doing is just... Holding that bead in place. And tie that bugger off. Right. That will do that. Then, ideally, you need a rotary vise. Um, Mine is not a rotary, but it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. It's only a cheaper one, but it does the turny thing, but not so even and nice. But it does the job. Plus UV fly paint alone. Good shit. You can also do like hot orange, or just normal orange, or whatever. Any colour you want, but I mean. Eggs, generally orange. So, I'm gonna have your UV light handy. Sometimes one of these, if it gets a bit messy, I just use the nozzle. And pretty much, So the reason it's spinning is so you can keep it in a nice circle. And just build it up until you've got Some people would be better at this than me, but it just gives you a good idea if you want to make some eggs and you don't have the normal stuff. This can do the job nicely. not so rotary vice it's a bit hard to get it perfect but um, you can always just zap it in there and you can add to it and if it's not quite round you can just put some more on 
and tidy it up. That's not too bad. Give it a bit extra. See, so there you go, you got egg on a hook. Now you can go. Now I didn't have any egg white veil, but I figured this shit much the same looks similar anyway. I've never actually had egg veil, so I don't know if it's much different, but it'll do. I also didn't have any white thread, but I had some of this cheap shit, which will do the job. And you can go and tie that bugger on front. So you can go as far as just quit finishing that off there, trim this to whatever you want, or you can get a bit different with it. I probably will trim it back a touch. And you can bring it around down, whatever, that's one way to do it. Finish on the front. Cool. There you go. Bring that up. Tie it all around it. Just do a couple of beams. Bring it around. Now you can do something like that too. So, whatever you're into, I'm just going to leave this one like that. I'll trim up this back a bit more. There you go. Dirty egg. Cheers for having a look.